Hello, welcome everyone. It's time for the monthly blooms video. In this episode, we'll see the African violet standards that are blooming this month. And in the next episode, as always, I will show you the miniature and semi-miniature varieties that are blooming in December of 2020. Far back here is Ace of Spades by Kent Stork. This is a newer variety. It was registered with the African Violet Society of America in 2016. And it has beautiful semi-double white blooms with purple eye and dark green quilted shiny foliage. Here is one of my favorite Rhapsody Violets by Optimara called Rhapsody Ingrid. It has very full pink blooms on tall bloom stalks and because it's growing in a smaller pot, I think it's a three inch pot, the rosette size is very compact. I like it a lot. Here is a very young plant of Whisper Blue by Sydney Serrano. It's a 1984 hybrid. So it's an older variety and I got it this year from Linda's Secret Garden and these are the first blooms so I wanted to show them to you. I expected a lighter colored blue on the blooms but I still like them and the foliage variegation is truly spectacular. It's pink with dark green. Here is one of my favorite Apaches called Apache Midnight by Lenora Munk and JC Munk. It has variegated foliage and this is one of the older crowns that I had repotted and it just started to bloom. The, the blooms are very dark purple with white edge. Here is one of my favorite yellows, Sunkissed Rose by Debbie Herringshaw at Linden Line Greenhouses. And the blooms have more yellow pigment in the center with some pink edge around the petals. And the older they get, the more yellow they have. Here is one of the newer plants in my collection that is having its first bloom. It's a Ukrainian standard by Dimitris Pavel Yenikeyev called DS Siyayushi Kalakolchuk. And it translates into English as DS Shining Bell. I've seen some pictures online of this variety and the color of the blooms has much more blue in them. And I'm wondering if it's because we're now in the cooler growing season that the blooms are almost white, whereas the regular blooming of this plant has much more blue with white eye in the center. This hybrid also is supposed to have some fantasy in the blooms and I see some faint specks of fantasy here on the petals. So hopefully it develops 
stronger as the plant matures in the next blooming cycles. Here is one of my favorite Cajuns, Cajuns Dixie Pride by Belinda Thibodeau. It has beautiful variegation on leaves and the blooms are double with thin raspberry edge and some raspberry fantasy specks around the petals. Here is a Russian hybrid by Natalia Skarnyakova, who lives in Kursk, Russia, called RM Aromat Lieta or RM Scent of Summer. It has peachy coral pink thumbprint on white frilled stars and a compact medium green rosette. This is one of the largest standards in my collection called Fisher's Leone. It's a large growing variety, a vintage from 1981 by Ernest Fisher, a Canadian hybridizer. It grows a very large, beautiful rosette with dark green leaves and the blooms are very deep, saturated, velvety, purple, with some pink fantasy. In the summer, it bloomed with much more fantasy. And right now, I think, because of the cooler temperature, the fantasy is less pronounced. Here is watermelon snow. I showed it in my previous videos and it keeps blooming. It's a standard by Pat Addison that is a registered sport from another favorite of mine called Rose Bouquet. And I showed Rose Bouquet earlier as well and right now it's not blooming. It's taking a break. Here is a young plant of Lions Spectacular by Sydney Serrano. I like it for the really spectacular blooms that are very large. They have white and bluish purple around the petals. And here is another bloom. It's a very young plant, so it just has the first blooms right now. Here is another young plant of a Russian hybrid by Tatiana Pogacheva called P.T. Svetlanka. And the blooms are pink with some purple blue fantasy and white green penciled edge. Here is a standard by Kent Stork called Black Hawk. It's a young plant and it has purple blooms and variegated foliage. And the older leaves showed much more variegation uh, in the summer, whereas the newer leaves don't show any variegation at the moment. So I'm observing it to see if the variegation shows later as it keeps cooling down. And here is a baby plant that just started to bloom and I wanted to show you the very first bloom on it because I was really amazed by the size of the bloom. This is a well-known Russian hybrid by Yelena Korshunova called Yeka Bela Karaleva or to translate into English, E.K. White Queen. And look at the size of this bloom. It's the largest bloom so far in my collection. I will be removing the blooms to let the rosette develop first. This was one of my most recent acquisitions from Violet Barn this year. 
I measured the bloom and it's uh, two and three quarters inches in diameter. Really huge. And finally, here is another newest acquisition from this year. And the first Hunter's Hybrid that I have in my collection called Hunter's Slippery When Wet. It was produced by Ken Mozaleski and registered with the African Violet Society of America in 2019. I like it for the beautiful variegated foliage and the blooms that look like little roses of pale pink with some green edge and the edge is also frilled and the younger blooms have more pigment so they are kind of darker pink. I think it's a beautiful hybrid. So these are all of my African Violet standards that are blooming right now. In, in the next episode, I will show you the miniature and semi-miniature varieties that are in bloom this month. Stay tuned.